Hello there guys, I'm Elspart1010 here, and we're back with more uh, Space Chem. Uh, last time we finished the first planet, and today we'll be moving on to the second planet, starting with Double Bonds. So how's everybody doing? Today is, uh, let me take a look at the calendar here. Um, I haven't been keeping track of the days lately, I think it's... I know it's Monday, I think it's the 11th. I know, silly, right? I, you know... Time just goes so fast. Let's see, what's our objective? We take in one oxygen, make it two. Okay, no problem. I can do that. Let's just have the red one input and grab. Here, we don't need all of these bonders. We just need two. And then we'll have it come around. Drop it there. Like this. We'll have two sync buttons right here. You'll see why in a minute. I believe that's all the red needs to do. Oh, here. I need to move the blue back one. Have a sync there. Put in A. Because you don't want them to go at the same time, otherwise they'll immediately cause a collision. And that'll not be good. So it'll come around here the same direction. It'll just do bond right there. Oh, wait a second. It needs a double bond, doesn't it? Aha! You got me, game. Okay. I'll just use a simple little trick to get it to do the bonding I want it to do. Have it go around in a little pattern like this. Then we put our bond button on here twice. And as it comes around here, we want it to grab again. And then we want it to output over here. Let's see, I think, yeah, right here, drop, and then output, sigh, throw the sync there so that they're moving at the same time, and let's see how well it works. Input, grab, taking a little while, let's move it faster, there we go. And there we go. First level complete. Let's see. Continue. Alright, what do we got next? Best left unanswered. And we've got more story. I never read the story. It's kind of pointless. I don't see why there needs to be a story to a game like this. I mean, I don't know. I guess it kind of adds... I guess it adds to the uh, game, but... I, you know... There's just not much of a point, I don't think. Okay, so here we're doing the same thing, except we need a triple bond. I assume that the name of the, the thing, Best Left Unanswered, had something to do with... Uh, probably had something to do with the story. So we'll throw two sinks here, just like we did last time. Input alpha. Grab the nitrogen atom, then we're going to throw it here on the second spot, just like we did last time. Blue is going to do the exact same thing after it waits for red to finish, because we don't we don't need any unnecessary collisions, no sir. Oh, what, what the heck am I doing? What is this? Don't need to output there. Need to grab. And then it's going to come around in the same direction gonna drop its nitrogen here then hmm guess we should make it go just a little bit farther shouldn't we so we can fit the, th the three bond actions that we need so there's your one two and three and we've got one left over one space I mean that's all right not a problem grab, come over here. So the only thing different about this program is this part down here is a little bit longer. That's it. Throw the sync button at the back. Oh. Have it drop. Here. Output psi. Doesn't really matter where. I put it there for efficiency. 
Because the faster you can get stuff done, the better. Move her, drop, sink, grab, drop, bond, 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 grab, drop, out, sink, start. And repeat. Very nice. Do it again. And there we go. Simple enough. Next, we've got multiple outputs. Let's see. Oh, we need to debond these? No problem. It's so simple, a Geico uh, commercial could do it. What the heck was that? Come over here. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, so we'll have the red one. Here, let's move it up one. Put the red one input. Grab the resulting atom. Let's move this up a bit, actually. Have it come around here. Then we will immediately have it bond to minus. Then it will still be holding on to the carbon atom, which it will take over here. And output right there where it says it wants us to output it. Although, once again, it doesn't matter. You know something I don't know? I don't know if, if it's holding on to the atom if you can output it while it's holding on to it. I haven't tested for that, but I don't really even feel like bothering. It's such a simple thing. Okay. Let's point this this way, and here we need, once again, two sinks here on the red because the blue will have a sink here behind the start and a sink here in front of the start so that it knows to wait. Actually, hold on, we can move this up one. It knows to wait to go over here and grab the resulting oxygen. Oh, wait a second, those are double bonded, aren't they? Okay, no problem, no problem. We can just alternate them to give more space. We'll move this grab action here. Grab action. It sounds like grab ass, but anyway. Let's see. We want... Oh, here. We want this. Okay, so this, was, this arrow was fine where it was. We want this to go up, over to the right, move this up. Okay, then we move the bond minus, put another one right here, that gets rid of those, then it comes around and grabs the second particle. And then, it would have to not go this way, but rather go down. Drop right here. Where's the output? There it is. You switch it to whatever that symbol is. Because I don't know my Greek alphabet. Bring it on over here. And we don't need either of these. No, no, get both. There we go. And let's see. What will the blue do? It will... Yeah, it'll grab that one. Actually, wait. Since that other atom's not going to be in the way, it can just go straight. And it can just come right back around. No harm done. Let's see. Drop. And output psi. Alright, that should work. Unless I've missed something really simple, which is sometimes the case. I do miss really simple things sometimes. It looks like it's working so far. Yes indeed, I think that will work. Very nice, very nice. So, next we've got an introduction to pipelines. Now, this is the overall, this, this is where the action of the game comes in. You take the, well, it doesn't really show it here, but the idea is all that we've been doing so far is stuff inside one reactor. Let's see. Benzene. Let's go over here. 
See, these are just storage tanks. These are holding a certain particle, and we take him. Oops. I'm trying to make this neat. There we go. Done. Easy. Okay, well, it'll probably show us. There's something in the fish cake. Okay, so this is where the the main the the main idea behind the game comes in, right here. Let's see, where's the best place to put it? Probably down here. Then we'll have this be the output. This will be input beta, and this will be input alpha. This is the main idea behind the game right here. You take now the reactor quota, that's how many reactors you're allowed to place. In this case it's just one because we only need one. And we can open the reactor by double clicking on it. And so it's going to its input A is going to be in hy a hydrogen atom. And every step, every cycle that is, is going to be that atom moving once through each of these segments of pipe. So you have to keep your pipe lengths in mind. You'll see you'll see what it looks like in a minute here. So, once again, we only need two bonders, not four. Let's go ahead and input, oh, yeah, when it does that, input A, then grab, then we want the red to come around, and we're going to put a sink here, because let's go around and do the blue first or the blue next for right now. I'm sorry, my commentary probably isn't the best today. I'm a little bit tired. I've been staying up really late lately. I haven't been able to sleep that well. So it's going to come in and grab the chlorine atom. Go around here. Drop it there. And then we want the blue to go back around again. And wait to sink. Let's throw the sink button for the red down there while we're waiting. Oh, you know what? Look at this, I forgot one. It needs to sink like right there. To let the other, to let the red wall though know that that's ready to go. Then we're gonna come over. Once again, where it's positioned right now doesn't matter, but pretty soon here it will matter, so you want to get in the good habit of putting things exa- oh, what the heck is this? Putting things exactly where they need to go. Okay, that should work. Ah, but see, this is what it- this is what happens when the atoms need to go through a pipeline. It takes a bit for the inputs to work. That'll come into play later, too. It's- it's a very important aspect. What the heck? What the heck? Oh, look at this. Look at me. Look what I did. Okay. Now we should be good. Looking good. Need to do this 40 times. Very good. And on to the last level for this planet, and I think the last thing we'll do today... We need to make formaldehyde out of carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen holding tanks. Simple enough. We'll just... let's see. Hold on. We need a little bit of designing going on here. We should bind the oxygen and the carbon in their own reactor. Well, technically you only need one reactor for all of this. It wouldn't be too hard. Oh no, you need two because, yeah, there's three inputs. Yep. Gotta have two. So, throw this reactor here, bring these pipelines down, very good. <clears throat> then we'll have this output go up here to where there will be another reactor sitting right here. That will accept that output and anything from this storage tank, hydrogen. So let's open up our first reactor and start getting our program going. Oh, see this box here? How it goes from reactor to reactor. You can actually set your own outputs. So what we want for this is we want it to be oriented... Let's see. I want this to be double bonded. To get carbon monoxide. 
And that is our output for this reactor up here. The lower output you can also set, but in this case we're not doing anything with that, so we don't even need to bother. Now, we only need two bonders for this. We'll have the blue, or we'll have the red come over here, in, grab, then we'll have it come down here. And, oh, well these need to be oriented like this because that's how we want it to, we want it to be, a, you, you'll actually get to see why the orientation is important right now. Um, yes. And then, yeah, it's got to drop it there. And then the blue will input its input, grab the resulting carbon atom, come around, and it'll drop it there. And then it'll let red know that it's ready. Because we need to make sure that these two don't just completely pass by each other. And then I guess we'll have red... Uh, let's see. Have it come around like this. Hmm. Yeah, no, that'll be fine. It'll be a little bit... It'll look a little weird, but it's okay. Let's see. Bond, bond, and grab. Then it'll just come around, duck up here. It'll be holding on to the carbon atom. Let's just finish off the path really quickly, and it'll need to drop right here, and then output. And that should be set to go. So we exit the reactor and it saved the program for us. Then we come over to this one. And this this comes from our own reactor down here. So when this blue wall though... Well, let's see what we need to do first. Okay, we need to reorient orient these a little bit here. Oh, well, wait. We don't need this one. We only need three. So we want... We actually want the blue wall though to go first in this case, because it's going to input B. Oh. Yeah, see? It needs to input B here, and grab the carbon atom at the bottom. Because the orientation of the atom slash molecule in this grid is where they will show up in this grid. So in the future, that's going to play a pretty big role in what's going on. So that'll come around. And then we have two sync buttons. One to let the red wall though know that it's ready to go. And then another to sync them up, just like this here. Now we want it to go in A. And grab. Now, I'm going to make it go down over here instead of straight down, and you'll see why in a bit. This one's going to take a lot of cycles. Just so you know, a cycle is every time a wall though moves one square over, that counts as a cycle, and it keeps count of your cycles down here. Now, drops it there. Then we want it to go up over here. And come around in a wonky pattern like this. No. Go down. And we're having it go... We're going to have it go back down through the same grab command with its own input command here. It's going to come around over here. Uh, that's a problem. Okay. We're going to have to move this down a bit. Because we can't have that. Okay. And then it's just going to bond. And that, that then all three of these will be bonded. And it'll look just like this. And then it'll come around, and this pro this is probably not the best way to design this, but oh well. Let's see. It'll be holding on to. Oh, it actually needs to go up here. Hmm. Okay, better idea. Bam. Yeah, that fixes it. Come up. Oh no! Don't need that arrow. Get rid of that. Um needs to drop right 
here. Output. Oh, this will fit perfectly. Then we're going to move it on over to the left, sync, and we're ready to go. So, if we've designed our programs appropriately, I should be able to hit this button. And this could take a while. Okay, I'm going to move it on to speed 4. Yeah, it's getting there. It's just taking a long time. Alright. So, that's it for today, guys. We've finished the, the second planet. And now we're going to start moving on to the hard stuff. Because the third planet is the one that started to take me a while to finish. So, this has been Miles, Powers ten, Miles Prower 1010. Not that there's multiple ones. <laughs> and I will talk to you guys next time. I'm sorry if my commentary was really boring today. I'm just really tired and kind of out of it. Hopefully tomorrow it'll get a bit better. Anyway, see you guys then.